All of you asked for it. Every single one of you, but mainly it's just we're here because I want to I wanted to do it again It was a lot of fun last time and it's gonna be a lot of fun this time. I'm talking cooking Simulator this is a simulator <laughs> where, where where we cook and yeah, there's a whole game attached to it But I don't, I don't really care I pick a recipe that I want to make and I make you guys dinner and uh, it's way harder Cooking in real life is already a little bit diff This is way harder <laughs> I will go modern kitchen this time. Let's do some modern cooking. Maybe this time they're modern enough to have some rice in the pantry. I love this game. Sounds like an adventure. And boy, it is the biggest adventure. Honestly, like one of my favorite new series on the channel. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep at it. Okay, all right. I see what we're working with here. We have a little blender stick. Ooh, we got some, uh, what are these? Those fancy electric ones? Uh, we got a deep fryer over here. What is that? That's like a, is that a grill? Oh, and then we can send it off. What is that? Is this supposed to be like a really fancy knife or something in there? All right, what do we have? This is looking concerningly similar to everything we had last time. Uh, at least the plates are easy to find. Mm-hmm. Yep, all looking quite similar here. You tell me there's still no rice? There's still no rice? I'm gonna actually have to figure out then what I'm supposed to cook. There is some penne. Potato dumplings? You have potato dumplings, but you don't have rice. Oh, there's a blowtorch. I was looking for a blowtorch last time. Okay, hold on. There's a blowtorch. I don't know if I'll be able to use it this time. What are we making? What do you guys want me to make? Oh, the knives like go directly into the table. That's very futuristic. Lasagna? Oh gosh. Creme brulee? Nah, I, I, I like, uh, I like savory stuff. One day there will be an update to this game and they will bring rice. And on that day, I will rejoice. There is bread. Scallion. I just don't understand. There's like a serious lack of carbs. I don't stand for that. Like, why is penne and fusilli and potato dumplings like the only, what about a potato dish? Adobo and rice? But there's no rice! Steak and potatoes, that's what we did last time. You should make some rice. <laughs> burger buns, a burger. There's burger buns. All right, new plan guys. We're doing a lineup of three burgers, kind of like sliders, but they're gonna be bigger. <laughs> so I guess just regular old burgers. We have a few people here to eat. We have one person who wants a beef burger. We have one person who wants a chicken burger and we have one person who wants a vegan burger. Did, have I just bitten off way more than I can chew? Let's start with the first burger first though. All right, chopping board on this side with all the space. I'm gonna get a, can I crouch? Oh, I actually can. It's actually kind of surprising. Oh, great. Look what I've done. I have managed to break something already. Far out, I've done it again. Third time lucky, am I right? Yes, <laughs> I am. <laughs> right, let's get, get some burger buns. Let's start with the first burger. Do I have, is it, is this like one bun or do I need to like cut it in half? What's the deal here? Oh, that's just the top bun. Actually, let me put that over on this plate here. Top, oh, bottom, here we go. You reckon I can Kobe it? Kobe, oh, that actually, my goodness. I just broke a plate by throwing a burger bun onto it. The sheer power of my throws. It's also the third plate I've broken. These are fragile things. All right, I'm gonna put it there. I just wanted it handy. Now, I did see here that they have uh, burger meat ready to go. They have patties. You never quite understand this game when they're like, oh, it's a cooking simulator, right? But there you go, there's a patty. <laughs> like maybe I can mince up one of my own. We have a food processor, don't we? We have a blender. Oh, that's a, is that not a, let me just give this a test real fast. If I get like a, a steak from down here, a floppy little boy. <laughs> And I put it in this. Is that gonna come out as, uh, oh, it comes out as chunks? What kind of machine is this? What if I do it again? Now we are eating glass. Well, it's not glass, it's uh, ceramic. So you're wrong. That thing is a chopper. It's a dicer, I guess. I guess the point of this is always to kind of make do with what we have. We do have a blender. Let me just see if this works. Remember kids, always leave your fridge doors wide open. Oh, this is a fruit processor. Why can't I put it in? Do I have to throw it? Hold on, let me try again. One more time. Nope. There we go. There's no lid, but that's all good. Okay, buff. I didn't think, 
All right, clearly they're not a fan of you doing that. Fine, we'll use our own burger patties then. I was just, you know, I was just thinking maybe I could mix up my own little burger patty special, but that's fine. I'll just use these. I'll uh, plop this right there. Don't worry about it, it's clean. Now, uh, I'm not gonna put that on the pan just yet because that's gonna freak me out hardcore. I gotta figure out what we want on this burger. I wanna go with like a few different styles here. Oh yes, let's grab some kabagi. We gotta chop this up real nice and fine. Uh, give me your finest knife. Okay, here we go. All right, all right, all right. we got it. I mean, that, that last one was kind of thick, but that's fine. Chuck that over there. Don't need it anymore. Chuck that. We got these little thin slices of cabbage. Slaw. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do like a little coleslaw business here. Carrot. Here we go. Do we have like a grater? Maybe? Perchance? Let us see. Hmm. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't understand this kitchen. It has like the weirdest assortment of stuff, but it doesn't have like a grater or rice. It's fine. I guess I'll chop it up. But it doesn't have a peeler either, so don't even ask. Oh no. No, please. Whatever. Massive chunks of carrot in our coleslaw. It's how it's gonna be. Although we can cut the cabbage the other way, so we can get some nice little strips of cabbage. Done. I need a bowl to mix this up in. Ready? Kobe. Nope. All right. Yep. Uh, all good. I'll be a little bit more careful this time. Here we go. And I'll, I'll throw it from just here. Kobe. Good. Put in. Carrot. Put in. Now, here's the thing with cooking. It doesn't matter if the ingredients aren't how you want them to be. As long as... They're all there in the bowl. You will have food at the end. And that's the philosophy I live by. At least when it comes to this game, that's for sure. No, 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 no. I want carrot. All right, here's the thing with coleslaw. You can't overdo it. Uh, the more ingredients you add to coleslaw, the worse it gets. But that is after you've added your three most important ingredients. If we don't have mayonnaise, I'm gonna lose it. We, we wouldn't, we wouldn't, would we? Because it wouldn't be here. It would be in the fridge. Wait, please tell me it's in like uh, in this creepy box that has everything. Liquids. Why do we have every single liquid but not mayonnaise? Oh gosh. Well then, we have sour cream. That could kind of work. Unless of course, where's my oils? Okay, over here. Yeah. All right, we have just like regular old like canola oil or something. Uh, I've never really tried this, but let's uh, let's try use some sunflower oil to make our own uh, mayonnaise. So here we here we go. Oh no, it's gonna make me do it manually. Why doesn't anything go in there? Uh, move vertically. Oh gosh. Now rotate. Oh, there's steak in there. <laughs> The steak's still in there. You know, who doesn't love a little bit of steak in their mayonnaise? We have eggs. It's gotta be eggs, right? Mozzarella. Egg. Thank you. Let's just, uh, oh gosh, it's gonna make me do it. Move vertically. Uh, I have, like I said last time, I have zero depth perception. Crack. Oh, wait, I'm just holding the, the raw egg. This is weird. No, raw egg, come back. <laughs> Why is it so gelatinous? All right. I, c I have... How am I supposed to see? You know what? Oh, dang it. Let's do it properly this time, all right? Join it. No messing around. As soon as we reach that, that means we're pretty much there. We move this up vertically. Now it bounced a little bit forward. So I believe if I press... Okay, uh, here we are. We're, we're at the thing. Now we move it up vertically. Now I believe. Yes! Okay, blend. Soup. Mm. That soup, my friends, is steak mayonnaise. We have our steak mayonnaise. And that goes in this bowl. No, not like that. You gotta be kidding. You, you knew what I meant. Why does the game do this? It plays me a fool. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, wa you want me to put this in your bowl? Here we go. Entire container on the bowl, onto sesame oil. Uh, look on the positive side. Uh, next oil, peanut oil. Look on the positive side. At least now our mayonnaise won't have raw steak in it. And that's always a good thing. All right, I know technically, um, 
you uh, usually do this not at the same time. You don't just like chuck it all in there and then blend it, but like it puts a lid on as soon as you turn the thing on. So here we go. I think I've got it this time. I think I know how to do this. Move up vertically, a little bit, and then drop. Now we're talking. All right, we've got our soup. Now we put it in this bowl here. Right, here we go. No, well, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna land in the bowl. All right, fine. Let me do it myself. Oh gosh, this is terrifying. Oh, I have a laser pointer. That's nice. Yes. Uh, let's be honest. It's a little bit mayonnaise-y for my tastes, but too much mayonnaise. Nothing wrong with a little bit of too much mayonnaise. Jeez, somebody making a mess. All right, we've got our coleslaw. We've got our burger patty. Uh, let's go simple with this one. Coleslaw, burger patty, cheese, cheddar. We're going with a fine vintage cheddar. Who cares about chopping boards, am I right? Like, why pay all this money for this nice cut-proof table? I'm not even gonna check if there's a cheese slicer. Who cares about a cheese slicer when you have insane knife skills like I do? I actually made some good slices in there and I really only need like one. So I think other than that, I feel like we're ready to go. All right, this needs to get on uh, one of these. I'm gonna learn this time. I could deep fry it. That could be fun, but I won't. Uh, that feels maybe silly. That thing gets hot, doesn't it? I imagine it does. That looks good for a little burger. There's space to put our buns on there too. There we go. Now I want to uh, get some... No, I want it the other way around, please. Come on! Everything is so tedious in this game. Now, I just need a little bit of oil. Just a tiny little bit of olive oil on these burger buns. Eh, pop that cap off. And, uh... Yep, that's a tiny little bit. Wait, are we out of oil? Oh, I need oil for the other bun. Now, this better work because this is my last bottle of oil. <laughs> Pop that bad boy off. Here we go. All right, now there's a little bit on there. Probably shouldn't have done that. And now that we have oil on this, we can... Eh, we're gonna sizzle up the but the spot on the side of these buns. Just get a little bit of that crisp. I uh, probably need to use this bad boy because we all know I'm not using a uh, tongs again. Nice! I'm getting better, friends! Mmm, plate. No. Oh, no. Spatchy, spatchy, spatchy spatch. Here we go. All right, I'm just gonna plop that down. I didn't want to throw the spatula. Okay, good. Uh, I'm assuming this is ready. Yes, yes. Okay, now, bottom bun. Oh, I can't touch it. Spatchy. What? Just, just, just get off there. Thank you. Spatch my man. On this plate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am a god. Okay, uh, look, I was going to put some sauce on here, but let's be honest, there's already a decent amount of uh, mayonnaise in this bowl. And any sauce we put on there is not really going to do a whole lot. So then we get this thing. Spatchy. Spatch my man. And then we put it on this burger bun. What? It's making me do it manually. This is going to be insanely hard. Nah, nah, no good, no good. Again. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, I can probably, uh... No! No! Oh. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I have a serious uh, love-hate relationship with these tongs. I love to hate them. I hate them. Like, I just, I just hate them. I hate the tongs. They do not work for anything. No, release them. And then, please, please. Why is this the hardest bit about making a burger? I've made burgers. This is not the hardest bit about making a burger. Come on. Please just let me pick the thing up. Can I put like gloves on or something so I can pick up this bun? The bun is not that hot. Letting go is always hard. Someone understands. Okay, now I just need to do that again, but on top of the burger patty. I have no depth perception, please. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm gonna actually focus this time. I'm gonna focus. If I get really close, <gasps> I did it. I did it. Go away. I never want to see you again. Cheese. A fine piece of cheddar. No, I'm, I can put the cheddar on there, all right? I don't care that the burger patty. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. Cheddar. Then, 
Let's grab this ball. Mm, how am I supposed to... Ah! All right, here we go. Mm, I don't want... No, I don't want just the liquid. I also want... There we go. All right. There's a decent amount of mayo in that now. Um... We're almost done. We've almost made a perfect burger. Where is my... Where did I put the... Did anybody do, know where I put the top burger bun? Oh, he's he's over there. He's over there. I got him. At least this one's not so hot. Ha-ha! The perfect burger. The world's most perfect burger. Here we have a beautiful beef burger with some beautiful, beautiful, roughly chopped slaw. <laughs> A nice, generous slice of cheddar cheese. And of course, some toasty, crispy buns. Good stuff. A clean kitchen is an efficient kitchen, but no need for efficiency if you only make one burger. No, 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 we're making two burgers. Good thing I keep my kitchen very tidy. I always know where everything is. Uh, the second burger, I know, I know we were making three, but uh, that one took way longer. But um, the vegan one is gonna be quicker. I'm about to show you why. <laughs> burger buns, I am assuming these are vegan. Mm, don't, don't ever come to my vegan restaurant if you're not okay with assumptions. Now, uh, vegan radish, egg, egg's not very vegan. Uh, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, asparagi even, mozzarella, also not super vegan. Oh, pumpkin. Pumpkin is the way to go. When you want to do a vegan burger, <laughs> why am I so excited to be walking around with this pumpkin? I'm like... <laughs> when you want to cook a vegan burger, always go pumpkin. That is the joining tip of the day. Let's chop this pumpkin. Right in half. <laughs> yep. That's all I need. Good solid wedge of pumpkin there. We chuck this bad boy on the, uh... No, well, obviously I didn't want to... Wait, do we have, like, an oven? It looks like an oven. All right. Oven roasted pumpkin. Slightly seared on the side. Chuck it in. Oh, I need to put it on a baking tray. Oh, well, now it's... Why can't I... Great. All right. New slice of pumpkin. Coming right up. Good. There we go. Generous. Always be generous with your cuts. It's what the people want. Bottom... Wherever, wherever, as long as it goes in. Close that bad boy and uh, turn the on button. Baking. Easy. Cooking is very easy. All you have to do is try. Now, pumpkin. Uh, we just did a coleslaw. So, we. I always like something fresh. Corn on the cob. Jalapeno. Why don't we do like a, a salsa? I'm going to do like a spicy salsa. Onion. You see, my ideas are good. <laughs> The execution. Yeah, questionable, but I'm working with what I have, all right? I have one hand and it doesn't work very well. Let's chop these bad boys up. Kobe. Kobe. I've completely given up on the idea of chopping boards. Just not necessary. If you really think about it, why would you need a chopping board? This seems to do just fine. Can I come over here and while I'm at it? I sure can. All right, we got some onion slices. Oh, we've also been cutting the jalapeno while we're at it. The double cut, the perfect time saver. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. We don't want to take too long here. Always leave your knives with the handle outside of the bench. This is for safety here. You can grab it very easily. If you go picking it up off the bench, you're going to cut yourself. You're going to hurt yourself. Now I need a bowl. Go be. Ugh. All right, bowl. We put all of these up in the bowl one by one. Maybe this is why I should have used the chopping board. Okay. And then, of course, the join-in special, uh, lemon juice. Uh, I'm gonna do lemon and lime, a little bit of both. All right, lemon not allowed. Oh no, it is, it is, it is. Pop that bottle, going in here. Ooh, not too much, not too much. And then Kobe. Then the lime, pop that bad boy. It's just the lemon then. So we have, we have our tasty lemon salsa. Uh, I want to add just a little bit, little bit, little bit. Uh, what am I talking about? Maybe some salt and pepper. Where do we keep those? And why would we keep them in here? Why would we not keep salt and pepper out? You know, where we actually cook. Do we not even have salt and pepper? All right, we have white pepper. All right, some white pepper is gonna do. We'll leave it with just the pepper. Now, how's my pumpkin going? Looking good. That's nice. This is all very nice. All right, so what are we doing? We've got a No! What? Slightly charred. All right, it's a stylistic choice. It was just- I just looked at it, and it was 
orange. It was perfect. So it can't be that badly burnt, all right? It's a tasteful, stylistic kind of thing here. Just a little bit of char. You know how they do that sometimes. You know, those, those fancy chefs. They love cooking with charcoal these days. I'll even slap an activated in the front of that bad boy. What am I doing? I'm frantic. I need a moment to think. Salsa? Pumpkin. That's fine, we'll keep it simple. Maybe a, a sauce, whatever, just a bit of ketchup. This is vegan ketchup, I checked. Uh, and we don't toast these buns, right? Mostly because we're out of oil, but the sauce is on. Woo! Can I grab the, uh... No, just don't, chill out. Great, look what you've done, spatula. No, don't turn it on. It come, come on. You're being dramatic. No, I mean, uh, like, is this is this how we're gonna play this? Is this how we're gonna do this? You're being immature. All right, that was a miss. Uh, let's try that again. All right, yeah, I mean, nope, that's all right. We'll get there. Slow and steady. Slow and steady now. Uh, what is going on? Oh, okay, yeah, I'll take that. Yes. Uh, then. It's probably the best looking thing I made. Probably the most edible. Even though there's a very big chunks of everything, but still. Maybe the patty would have been alright. Or the cheese. <laughs> I'm sure the cheese was very edible. Oh, perfect. And it was such a small piece of pumpkin. How did I manage? Then we top that off with uh, the bun that we prepared earlier. Right there. <laughs> there we go! The perfect burger! The perfect vegan burger! So here we have the beef special. How do I open this bad boy up? Let me, uh, let me send these dishes out. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll put them on the glass table over here, and I'll tell you- I'll tell you what I've got. Don't you- You gotta be really careful when handling the- Oh, sometimes they do that. Sometimes they do that at fancy restaurants. They put- No, you know what? Let me just- Okay, there we go. All right, let me just get you a glass of something to drink here. Uh, oh, nice. We'll go for a nice beer. You know what? Who cares about glasses? Oh, and uh, and the other option. These are these are pairing. These are very well thought out pairings. Burger and a beer. What could be better? Don't say fries. This video is already too long. <laughs> Fine, I'll do the fries. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. Potatoes. <laughs> these are gonna be the quickest fries you've ever seen in your life. All right. Quick fries, quick fries. No, it's not what I wanted to do, and you know it. Now. Hold on. I'm in full concentration mode here. I'm genuinely trying to make the fastest fries you've ever seen. All right, I think we did have some form of oil. I think we had some clarified butter. Yes, that will work. This is fine. This is fine. We, uh, what else? Have, we've got something, right? We've, we've got to have some sort of oil. The box! The bottomless box! There's always something in the bottomless box. Avocado oil. That'll do it. That'll do it. Oh, gosh. All right. Oh, wait. I was doing oven fries. Is there oil in there? Probably not. Filled with oil. Oh, there we go. Sorry. I, I was just thinking about how I would do this at home, but... We have a deep fryer here. I'm assuming that's hot oil. Why? I- Why would it- Not even- It's gotta be at least one or two fries in there. Hopefully. I'm hoping there's two. I know there's one. I can probably chuck that in there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Almost there. I don't know whether I want that bar to fill up. Like, if that bar fills up, does that mean it's done? Or- Anyway, I feel like it's done. The other potato is just about done. I think we're good to go. Oh my gosh, they look so good. They look so good. I did it. I actually made good fries. Granted, there's not a lot of them, but they do look good. I do just want a little bit of, uh, what do we got here? Chili? Kind of wanted some like smoked paprika, but if we can't find that, I'm going with smoked pepper powder. All right, that's all you need. Easy as that. You pop that in the fryer. No, no, in the fryer. No, 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 sorry. In the fryer, right where it belongs. And uh, do you think you need a little bit of salt? But I don't know where the salt is. I couldn't find it. Is it in the bottomless box? Spices? Would salt be under spices? It sure would. There we go. Little bit of salt. 
All right, that one also goes into the fryer. No, yep. You just want to wash them so they're ready to go for next time. Now, I can touch that. Oh, I can. What, but the burger buns were too hot? All right, that just sits on the top there. That's fine. That's a, it's a, one of these new uh, presenting things that they do. This one's too hot, but the other one was fine. Uh, spatula, that's where I keep it. Oh, nice. There we go. Look at that. We have the vegan burger on the left with a beautifully crisp activated charcoal pumpkin patty with some uh, jalapeno salsa and uh, what was it? Ketchup paired with a hellas. A hells. I, a hellas. I never know which one it is. And then you uh, serve it with a, that. sorry, then this one for all the meat eaters out there. We have the burger meat on a beautifully toasted burger bun with some roughly chopped slaw. Some cheddar. It looks great, Joinen. Thank you. I actually am pretty proud of the chip. I feel like that would actually be tasty. <laughs> and that is served, of course, with a dunkles. A dun a dunkle. And just perfect, perfect burger. Prove me wrong. If you want to see me cook again, make sure to come and follow me on Twitch. Also, like this video. Maybe leave a comment. I don't know. All that kind of stuff. And get some of the Nug Thug merch to celebrate cooking. <laughs> All right, get the lemon carton for all the lemon that we use, the lemon juice that we use today. And remember friends, keep your kitchens tidy and I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>